Okay. Use FD. Man. Watch for with 2H. Let's run. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't work. Oh, that was the heal. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I was too early. I tried to throw him. I tried to mirage out. I wasn't sure if it would get under it. Um, it does not. Next week, same time. Duel one. Let's rock. I thought I dodged it. I didn't realize you could throw out a second one that fast. Okay, okay. <laughs> I should know that. That is my responsibility. Super good selection by me on the uh, going for disc there instead of wall break. I couldn't have killed with wall break there, I don't think. 
So I'm I'm glad I recognized that that I needed the one more keyblade advantage. I definitely just tried to use a 2B ant here. Good snipe, good snipe. For sure. Okay. Yeah, he had that hella scouted. Okay, okay. I thought I saw the startup of an item toss when I did that super, and I let go of my game plan afterwards. Let's check in. Uh, I'm still using jump S for jump ins, but I am using jump H more, so progress there. Uh, I think I'm doing better about the air base. Society. I have so been super jump IAD, so that is progress. Dual right, I need to FD more. Let's rock. <laughs> Oh, I tried to hit throw. Gimmick that round went, but I'll take it. 
God fucking damn it. Okay, I got 2H instead of 5H. Because I was too early on the uh air card blood. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just want to go. That's fine. Is it coming up? Got you! Oh shit, okay. I thought I'd already blocked them, but I guess I swapped one early. First there, but that is not the open there. Oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he knew it. He knew that I'd 
the button to throw way too much. I think it's actually from Melty that lets him throw so much because it's like he kind of dashes forward. Take care. Okay. My goal here is to not try and defensive throw here, but instead to uh, one. Let's rock. I picked the wrong option there anyways. missed my D button. I tried to run up gold burst and I only felt the K button go down. Success. Are you ready? He is more than happy Mankind to just set up enough. shop against me. Duel Once he gets one. like two items out, it's.
I felt like he had the grab scouted there, to be honest. Just kind of took that full 2k 2d2 or 2k6h. I suppose that is going to be uh, that series of matches. Let's go do a little bit of analysis real quick. Oh, sick! My controller just DC'd. Uh, I'm glad that happened. Not in the uh, set. Okay. Let's get some more good music on too. Let's do. There. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Pre-analysis thoughts. Um, I have a habit of trying to jump to escape corner. Melty habits. These are uh, 
smashing with throw. Trying to land punish with throw. There were a lot of times where I just kind of let him set up and the match very quickly spiraled. Uh, nerves. Nerves is a huge factor here. Lots of dropped inputs in tense situations. I feel like there are a couple things that I was doing that he wasn't catching on to to punish, but I am uh, not confident. Or I'm not entirely sure why, or if maybe they're harder to deal with than I think they are. Uh, anyways, let's see. I guess this is where it started recording from? That's weird. Oh no, because I played a bunch of sets and I was using the replay buffer. So okay, this is going to be like halfway through the set, I guess. Uh, that's that's fine overall, though. Uh, right, he. Uh, I'm actually really surprised. I thought that Elven Shadow. Um, I thought it was like somebody fought Lord Knight. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, the throw disc is you just uh, you stand block, fuzzy jump out, and Milia just has to take the plus frames unless there is some super secret attack that I'm not aware of. Any of the uh, the lows or the air dashes here are fake as shit. I recognized near the end, but didn't have the muscle memory to bait it. Um, it might have actually been this one in particular. That he was waiting for me to do the first hit of the air combo before bursting. Yeah, they made this faster, this patch, so I can't just dash punish. It's like 12 or 16 frames faster, so I, I just thought that this was a true punish. Uh, I also kind of lucked out that he got fucking useless items. Alright, so there's one air dash out of the corner. I'm just going to count these as they pop up. Yeah, air dash attempt. Uh, yeah, this 6H was a prayer. This was not a selection. This was just me praying. I was like kind of at the edge of close slash range, so I think I was worried that 2S wasn't gonna reach or something. But like, it, it's a prayer that I pre-dialed in the counter hit confirm for. Okay, uh, execution failure here, like situation recognition. Um, I did try and do the correct thing, which is dash under this though, so I'm gonna give myself uh, some credit there. Good 6p from Elven Shadow. And yeah, okay, so this happened a couple times. So he throws a hammer and I'm like, okay, I can't really run in because it covers it and I didn't want to jump and go up here because I thought that that was too obvious of a path. But in not doing that, he had time to throw a second item, which then also covered space, and a third item, and a fourth, and it just, like, this one actually was one of the times it went the least out of control, I think. Yeah, septum, block. This was actually a super interesting situation. This is, um, the backup Faust game plan, I'm gonna call it. The, your opponent probably won't have the same amount of situational awareness as you because they don't have to play with your items as much. Um, I run up here and I recognize the little minion dude way too late because I was trying to run up here to do a meaty close slash, um, which I think I, yeah, is still, I think what I went for here. Uh, a, I was late, but B, uh, Shadow here was clearly more familiar with the situation because the only thing that would have saved me here running up all the way uh, offensively is throw because everything else gets hit by the little minion dude over here and I probably die from getting hit by the little minion dude to be honest. So 
he did uh, wake up 5p, which I believe is his f uh, 5 frame button. It's not 2p. So even if I had gone for the throw, this was still a really good situation for him. And because he had so many items out, I think that honestly my best case scenario would have just been to like just kind of chill back and deal with neutral against him more. Like I don't have a win condition here because he's ready for the one that exists and it's just one. So it's like, that's kind of that. <laughs> yeah, little minion dude just flies in and murders me. That's kind of a rough situation. Like looking back, so I go for the 2k 2d and I go for the disc because I think it's going to hit the bomb out of the way, which I don't know if that bomb went off on a timer or if it's because the disc hit it, but my main thing was I just did not want to interact with the bomb was the decision I made here, and I'm not sure if that was actually the correct decision or not. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, honestly, that one I don't have a super easy answer for. Right, right. Also, I didn't realize that the bomb going off is what set the little dude off. So he was already screaming and angry. So I thought I could get like a close slash and then a mix up, but nope. And either way, I was late on the close slash, but scramble situations, Faust uh, sets them up and thrives in them for sure. Yeah, I put some extra delay on that uh, to us to catch the fuzzy. Okay, did this hit me cross up or did I mash? I feel like I hit 2k or something stupid. Oh no, I pressed close slash. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if I'm going to mash there, it has to be 6p. I don't have another option against mix. Uh, right, right. Okay, this is actually something that comes up a decent amount, I feel. Um, in situations, I don't like selecting rising aerial. I like selecting jump air dash, but here, what I, if there is one thing I should be doing here, like air button wise, I should either be trying to bet big on rising jump S counter hit, or I should try and go for the uh, relatively safe, he is going to try and jump away from the minion wave, uh, rising jump, punch, 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 mash, and just like drag him back down and crank the risk bar. That's also something I don't do a whole lot. So let me uh, see. I default to air dash buttons. Should go for rising buttons more often. Also, against. Why is my G button not working? Opponent who really wants to jump. Remember that jump on spam is an option. Okay, yeah, that's just a situation I just do not have down. Um, that was actually a very good situation for me that I just, like, as a player, did not have the uh, the toolkit ready, like, on hand to convert. Do I jump air dash? No. Okay, okay. I was super scared about the meteors here. I didn't realize that he put them away with the PRC. Oh, and my eyes were on the meteors, not the 6H. And yeah, I'm just kind of falling apart here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the one where I tried to burst and I hit... Oh, okay, I hit it one frame late anyways, but yeah, I just get the K, I don't get the D input. Okay. Okay. So, Elven Shadow. So, Krakatoa is going for 2p round start like every time. Uh, Elven Shadow is rotating through them a whole lot more. Here, so super defensive start. I see the item toss and I just 
run up. I don't want to let him start just throwing shit a bunch like he has been. And yeah, okay, I reacted late there. I thought I could get a true hit 2D. This is a guard crush, not a unblockable. <laughs> but... I could have gotten anything else with that jump slash. Okay, uh, also, like, this jump slash... <sighs> it works. I should definitely be pressing jump H here, though. And he's checking a lot of my run-ups, because I'm trying to overextend off of, uh... Like, I'm not actually as plus as I'm trying to use, if that makes sense. I feel like I need to figure out the actual, like, when is my opponent actually actionable on a lot of stuff and here's the yeah the burst off of the first air hit and <laughs> buffed recovery frames there yeah 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 i just wasn't ready for the minion wave to change my combo and what happened here did i i bet i tried to super jump air dash out of the corner not even super just air dash oh wait no no Okay, so yes, I tried to jump, and I think... Does he just react to this? Probably, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if that was a reaction. He's definitely looking for it anyways. I've shown it enough. Okay. Yeah, it's the one where I tried to jump and block and just never let go of a forward because so I was just holding neutral. Alright, knock down into the afro. I did purposefully select low block here, so I like I made my choice and I gambled with it. <laughs> this happened a couple times. This is super tricky. I didn't realize uh, Faust can, like, he looks so low that I don't expect him to be able to sneak in another overhead. <laughs> yeah, it's like the frame before he lands. Okay. That's super good. Oof. Yeah, that uh that was a failure of knowledge, not uh, execution or decision making. Yeah, there this is actually another I'm trying to pull up like I have way more plus frames than I actually do. And this one in particular is like, okay, sure, I just don't know how much Blockstone the Bomb has, but that's kind of symptomatic of something I do a lot. I wonder, let's see, I should probably be trying to pull up and then also mix in options to blow up them trying to check me. I didn't confirm the 2k hitting, but that's fine. I also didn't confirm that, uh, what is this, close slash hitting? Yeah, this, uh, this wouldn't have killed. This would have been huge damage if I'd gotten the 2h conversion, but I had, like, already dialed Bad Moon into my head because I thought that he was just blocking. I didn't expect to catch a jump there. Right, he just kind of runs away here, and to be honest, I'm like relatively okay with letting him. I also, he does it twice, um, and so I'm like, okay, he got away. And I recognized here, <laughs> through the you know, VLC squares, uh, I recognized here that he was doing it to escape. And I'm very glad I picked up on that, because uh, here he tries to 6p <laughs> and like counter hit blow me up for chasing it too hard but I had, like, sort of caught on to what he was going for, and I'm glad that I was able to do that. Ah, I thought that would wall break. God, I had so much meter, too. I could have just thrown the super. Well, okay. <laughs> it, it works out. I believe this is a true punish, right? 
Uh, oh no, it was a counter on whatever he tried to press next. Right, I had not shown that yet at all. I didn't have the meter to back it up. So I figured I'd sneak one in just to A, see if he was like super, super ready for it or something, but B, because I knew there was a very good chance of it hitting. Uh, I've been trying to do that a little bit more in the corner where it just like resets the same situation because there's like, there's no tell on it. You know, you don't have to like, okay, here's the close slash I'm looking for it. It's just boom, go. Yeah, this time, okay, this actually blew me up uh, last game, so I'm glad. Let's see, stop to see what the items were. <laughs> I was a little bit early. Uh, I'm very glad last game I got blown up by this into Scapple, and this time I remembered. Uh, I, I didn't get a punish on it because I wasn't confident it was coming to 6p8 or anything. Yeah, I tried to jump out of the corner. I'm not allowed to do that there, for sure. If I remember right, I misjudged the distance on a throw here. Yeah, I tried to backdash that. Uh, I just assumed I was dead here, like one pixel, but Mix like whiffs because it's active the frame I hit the ground. RC through all the VLC blocks. Yeah, okay, I tried to throw here. I think it would have been like a frame too late anyways, but it's definitely out of range as well. But yeah, I just tried to gamble something to get back in the game. He um he goes for this like 5H, 5H a decent amount. I wonder if... Yeah, I'm just like chilling over here. I'm being non-committal, which is, you know, a good way to not die, but I'm not looking for anything in specific there, really, and I don't have a way to punish a third 5H like on deck, so I'm just gonna stand there and kind of let him whiff moves. And here we go, yeah, things are getting like massively out of control. I kind of luck into a good spot. Why did I ask this? Oh no! Oh my god, right. Okay, so this whole situation, there's like a million things on screen, right? So I need to be able to, I need to be able to recognize when I'm getting overloaded and calm down. This would normally be the point where I would get that because, okay, this is stable, but I was expecting this to wall splat, so I didn't think I had to do anything else. And then I was still kind of scrambling here because the, uh, the first hit a close slash whiffed, and I need to just like reset. If nothing else, I should have also reset here because, okay, I'm knocked down back to normal. I, I need to look for points for that. Um, I actually get a really, really good close slash here. However, I like hit jump SH instead of SD. And so the whole combo just like collapses in on itself. And yeah, there's the burst. I recognize this time that the, uh, the buff was there, so I didn't try and pull up as hard. So just immediate item toss, okay. It's probably a good thing he didn't do immediate drill there or something. But yeah, just kind of a super scrambly situation. That was a really good low crush from him, because I was looking for that 2k and it just like whiffed right under the drill startup. This uh, this far slash is me still trying to mesh uh, Lush Shaker, which 
I'm not sure there's too much I can do about that, to be honest. Besides just, like, confirming the situation. For oh my gosh. These Fosts are so good about hiding the hammer with themselves. I need to be way better about just remembering where it goes. Why did I nest is here? Oh, right, right. I remember being confused about this in the moment. I 2k here, and in my head I'm like, oh, that hit. And so I do 2d and already dialed in the 236h. Um, in this situation in general, though, so I'm stuck in the corner. I try and dash forward out, which, good stuff me, not trying to always super jump. I tried to, like, backdash an air normal. I... Why would I do that? If anything, I'd need to backdash the thing after it. Okay, yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay. That's something to watch out for in the future, for sure. Yeah, just get caught there. And, uh, lucky for me that it's awkward to pick up off that. I probably could have committed really hard and baited that. Ah, I missed my dash. <laughs> Oh god, and I forgot it hit that far. This is a really good PRC. I I did it super late to see if it like if he wasn't watching for it anymore, but nah he he had that scouted for sure. Okay though. Um I think that's gonna be well, let's recap real quick actually. Put my notes back up. And I just minimized. So, okay. Uh, I need to watch out for mashing on throw. I remember doing that especially a lot early on. I recognize my habit of trying to super jump air dash always to escape the corner, and I already began to adjust that, so that was good. I guess I have more reason to be worried about Faust sitting back and just chucking a bunch of items now, because the recovery, especially on the super, is lower, so I can't just dash in punish it nearly as easily but i think that like the big thing is definitely a combination of nerves and like watching how hard like watching out for how hard i just kind of like pull up on people when it is not really my turn 